I spent some time in Roanoke, Virginia, one of the most beautiful places I've ever lived. It's this little valley surrounded by the Blue Ridge Mountains. And across the street from where I lived was a park. You could look over in the evening and you would see hundreds of fireflies flying around. And I always thought it was such a cool thing, you know, bringing back to when I was young, when I was a kid, and it was such a thrill in running around trying to chase those things. And seeing this day in and day out led me to think, you know, 24, 25 years later about all the things that have changed in my life. Back then, life was pretty straightforward. You know, as a child, you place your value on what feels right in the present. You're not thinking about two years down the road or wondering what others are going to think. Your creativity and your sense of exploration are running on all cylinders. Then something happens. We begin to understand the way of things. We see what's valued in society. We see what's expected. We see how success is defined. And so begins our ascent up the ladder. And rung by rung we climb, looking above us, below us to see where others are, see how fast they've moved in relation to us. And eventually this coincides with how we see ourselves. And as you know, how you see yourself is the best indicator of what you will become. Which is why when so many people aren't happy with their day to day, that's a huge red flag. That's breathing, that's not living. Folks have been climbing this ladder their entire lives and never stopped to ask if it's where they were meant to be. Maybe the top of the community ladder isn't what you want, but you never thought you only acted. And if you don't think, if you don't ask yourself the question, you will climb and you will climb and you will climb until you burn out. I try and spend a few minutes every day thinking about this. It's the most important thing I can spend time on. It's my life. It's more important than green paper. It means more than the opinions of others. It's the backbone of everything. Everything around me and the meaning I give it stems from how I identify myself, who I am. Which brings me back to those fireflies, to running around on a hot summer evening not having a care in the world. There is something intrinsically perfect about those moments. Life is about peak experiences, joy, excitement, so that you never lose that spark because it's all that separates us from every other being on the planet. If we don't have that, what do we have? What separates us from ants moving dirt? monotonous action based on instinct. There's just no thrill in that. Why not create a life that allows you to feel that excitement every day? Don't act because you're supposed to. Act because you so desperately want to that there's no other option. Because you couldn't live without the adventure. You couldn't pass on the experience. Here's a secret. If you become fixated on a life that means nothing to you, at some point, you will probably get to the top. And from there, you will have a beautiful view of everything you missed out on. So maybe there is something to the whole chasing firefly routine. Maybe a four-year-old running after a glowing bug with a jar deserves more credit than he's given.